Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and in this video I am going to be talking about a total lunar eclipse which is going to happen on Sunday September the 7th. Can you see this picture behind me on the screen here? That is what they call a blood moon. It's when the Earth's shadow casts on the moon. It's when the moon, the Earth and the sun, they all line up and the shadow is cast onto the moon absolutely spectacular. It turns red because some of the light that comes through around the side of the Earth, through the atmosphere, gets filtered, refracted, and it ends up on the moon and it turns it a blood red during the total phase. And that's going to happen on Sunday, September the 7th. Now, unfortunately for us here in the UK, now, I almost didn't do this video because of this. In fact, the, the totality is going to happen just as the moon is rising for us at around about something like half past seven to quarter to eight, depending on where you live in the UK. The moon is going to be in its total phase as it rises for us on Sunday. I'll, that's going to be a bit of a problem. I'll tell you about that a little bit later. But if you happen to be living... Um, in Asia, in Africa, India, China, Australia, you're in luck. You're going to get to see, weather permitting, the whole of the, um, the lunar eclipse. Now, a lunar eclipse is a little bit different to a, a total solar eclipse. I've been to see a couple of total solar eclipses. I went to see the one, the Great American Eclipse of 2017. Absolutely amazing. I'll just show you a picture of that. And also I got to see the total solar eclipse of April 2024 and that was in downtown Dallas. Another absolutely spectacular event. The problem is with the solar eclipse is that the, the shadow is cast by the moon on the Earth and the moon is much smaller than the Earth. So the shadow for a total solar eclipse is very small. So you need to be in a particular part of the country or the world to be able to see a total solar eclipse otherwise you just get to see a partial now there is a, another total solar eclipse next year in northern spain which i hope to be going to but anyway this video is about a total lunar eclipse and i almost didn't do the video because you know what here's the problem if we're going to get the moon rising on sunday and i'm going to go out and try and see it, i will be filming a video i'm going to do my best folks but if the moon is being eclipsed like that when it's in total for and it's rising you can imagine the moon is low on the horizon it could be very difficult for us to see in fact it might be almost invisible because if you've ever seen my videos where i film a, a moon rise you'll notice sometimes that it looks quite uh, well it almost looks like that and that's when it's a full moon without being eclipsed you know um so this is one of the reasons why I almost didn't do a video about it. In fact, even the Sky at Night magazine, I've got the Sky at Night magazine here, and all they did was just one page on it there. This one page talking about it, total lunar eclipses, the moon rises there, and it shows you an example. Um, so they didn't really do like a big write-up on it. So, um, but, but here's the thing, you see, I am going to go out and try and film it. I'm going to go out and try and see if I can see it, weather permitting, of course. If there's low clouds on the horizon, then we're not going to be in luck, are we? But hopefully, what I'm thinking is, so like I said, in fact, I'll just show you this picture. I don't know if you can see that there. I'll put it on the screen if, if you can't see it. But that was a, a partial lunar eclipse, which I filmed last year. You might have seen the video where it all got hyped up. And, and actually, I thought it was really good. There was a lot of hype about the partial loon. Sometimes uh, the, the newspapers and that, they hype these things up. And um, the hype for the partial loon eclipse was actually quite good. And I did a video about that. It was actually spectacular. And the moon, you can, you, you can see that the moon has got a very dark patch on one side and it looks very bright on the other side. But that's what happens when... The Earth doesn't, the Earth's shadow doesn't quite totally cover the moon. It only covers a part of it, and that's what you get. And, and actually, I think that was really, really good. Now, what's going to happen is when the moon rises for us here in the UK on Sunday, hopefully, when, when it gets up a little bit, by the way, totality lasts for about an hour and a half, but unfortunately, by the time it rises for us here in the UK, it'll only be up for 10 minutes and totality has ended. And then we're into the partial phase which lasts 
I think the partial phase maybe lasts about an hour or so. So hopefully when the moon gets up a bit, here's what I'm thinking. We'll get to see some of the partial phase. So it might look a little bit like the, uh, the, the video I've got on this screen here, which I thought was really, really good. Now, again, lunar eclipses, I think, are really, really spectacular, but they're very subtle and they last a long time. They can last up to five hours, depending on various conditions. Now, like I said, the totality on this on this one lasts for almost an hour and a half. Can you imagine that for a, a, a red moon for almost an hour and a half and the partial phases as well, similar, you know, so the whole thing, I think, lasts for about three, three and a half hours or, so, or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's what's going to happen on Sunday. Now, like I said, we might be out of luck here in the UK. Normally, it's the weather that puts us off. But because it's rising at the same time as being eclipsed totally, because it's low down in the sky, you've got the atmosphere, we've got clouds low down, all that could work against us and make it difficult to even see the moon. We might not even be able to see the moon, but, but what I, here's what I'm thinking. When it moves out of its total phase and when it turns a bit more like what you see on this screen here, uh, like a partial eclipse, hopefully the moon will begin to show up. Now that's, that's what I'm hoping. We're going to go out and try. I'm going to do my best. We'll go out and see if we can see it. I think that'll be fun. So anyway, like I say, it's just a quick video just to let you know if you're lucky enough to live, um, like I say, Africa, Asia, India is well placed. Uh, China, I think as well, yeah, Australia. You get a chance to see the whole phase, the partial phase. It does, like I said, it, it, it takes a long time. It, it's, it's very, very subtle. It's not like a total solar eclipse where you're only, you, 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 to, a couple of minutes, you know, the, the one I saw in Dallas last year lasted, uh, how long did it last? about two and a half minutes or something like that and it was similar to the one that I saw in Wyoming in 2017 it was around about two and a half minutes so you don't get a whole lot of time to enjoy the total phase but there is uh, uh, quite a, a while building up to it where you have to look you have to use the glasses to to look at the past because you cannot look at the sun unless it's being eclipsed fully by the moon and then you can look at it you can take your eclipse your eclipse glasses off and look at it but a lunar eclipse you've got no problems at all you can watch the lunar eclipse you can watch the partial phase you can watch it slowly go dark i say it goes a bit dirty you know when the shadow starts to form on the moon it looks really really weird it really does and if you watch that video i'll put a link at the end it, I was amazed. I mean, there was a lot of hype about it in the media and that, saying that we've got a partial eclipse. And I, I didn't think it was going to live up to that, but it did. Watch the video and you'll see it looked absolutely amazing. So, yeah, that's it, folks. Um, I did a video. Like I say, I wasn't sure whether to make one or not because um, our um, view in the UK... I mean, we always seem to get like the... Uh, we never seem to get much luck, do we, when we're looking, when we, when we see things like this, you know. We, it's always America or someone else that gets to see it, but... Uh, and then if we do get a chance to see it, it'll be cloudy. But that's just our luck here in the UK, isn't it? But anyway, that's it for this video. I'll put a link to the other video, the partial eclipse that I saw last year when I was on holiday in the Lake District. And I'll also put some information in the description so you can find out more about the timings and where you are and find out what you can see. So good luck, but I will be making a video, hopefully on Sunday, going to chase the lunar eclipse. Will we get to see it when it's rising like that? Very unlikely, but hopefully we'll get to see it once it comes out of that phase. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you like it, and don't forget to keep looking up.